Hello everybody and welcome once again to Galactic Science 2. So, right, we are in the process of building a rocket. And in fact, the progress is not going to be too bad. What I did is one thing I did is upgrade the um, metal former with another two speed upgrades. And that's actually working fairly quick. Let's go and have a quick look at that to start with. In fact, you might have even finished the stuff I'm doing. So I've basically got some stuff in this chest here it's just about empty look at that and as you can see now that's really rattling through and we're getting quite a few plates bronze plates coming in which is great stuff and in terms of plates let's have a look at what we've got now heavy duty plates i think we've got 22 we need about eight more so let's go downstairs and have a look at something else i moved the automation of this so, so here i've basically got as you can see to a this is just empty tubes when I've got 2700 so this is actually quite happily processing fluid transposer is processing these they're coming in from here actually I've got quite a lot of cactus in there at the moment and this is also full and I can remove of course I'm gonna to have to remove these mesaline myself manually I'm happy with that as it happens I think that's okay so that's basically getting fed into here that's full that's then processing these it's fairly slow i could upgrade this machine but oh, maybe i'll just see how we get on for the time being and in here we've got just a little bit of copper uh bronze sorry and a little bit of steel refined iron so let's go and take those upstairs and put those into that chest if we go the right way that is so that automation was fairly straightforward now let's put these into there like that and then they can be taken out and processed and give us some more plates and then we can make some more uh, heavy duty plates we need at least I've got enough tier ones at the moment so I'm only going to basically go and have a look in here what we've got for plate so I've got a good number of aluminium plates we'll make take two of those out of here we've got a reasonable number of uh, bronze we need three stacks and we need three strikes of this one the refined iron we're going to take these and we're going to put these back in or at least we're going to put one of each of these back in because one stack of this is going to give me uh, enough for two so let's actually move those to the beginning of here and they'll get done first I'm not sure it's been taken out to the moment bronze I think as you can see yes that's going through fairly fast and in fact it's just about keeping up if it goes any slower I might have to upgrade one of these two servers I'm not sure which one it's running on actually one of them's hardened and the other ones are just an ordinary server so we're making progress and at least at least the grind is sort of seeing an end to the grind at this level anyway so that's pretty good too so what I want to do is put these in over here like that And then with the metal that we'll get some more of those out of there. I've also made, as you can see here, the electronic circuits. I've got enough of those. And a diamond shawl. So what I could do again now is to upgrade that. But I upgraded the other machines as well. That's also making life a little bit easier. So I upgraded the redstone furnace has also got its three speed upgrades in now. I think that was done before. This one's got its three secondary. This one's got three speed upgrades. Um, the, the industrial crucible's got three speed upgrades, and this one has got two speed upgrades. It's actually quite fast now. It works pretty well. If we ever need to do it, I could just stick another one in, no problem whatsoever. Maybe even put efficiency upgrade in to reduce the power. But to be honest with you, we don't actually have that problem with power in this pack. That's secondary level, which is speed. I mean efficiency that one was efficiency transmission coils and this one was base fuel energy three fuel efficiency okay don't ask me dynamo i think that's just for the dynamo fuel efficiency that's not relevant anyway so that's that they're all up pretty well up to date so i'm happy with that that's pretty good so really now what we want to do is to do the next stage of these things and you see you can see the bronze plates coming in here quite nicely now so what have we got to do for our rocket so we need a tier 
to rock it and uh, then we should be able to see this here so we've done the nose cone let's see if we can do the rocket fins so we need 32 of that and heavy duty plates heavy duty plates are 64 out of those and some iron i'm not sure that i've got enough steel so how many do we need of those one of each okay we need so we need four let's get those see if we can get that done so refined iron we've got oh actually nothing at the moment we've just got some plates coming through we should get 128 i think take a stack of those um that's a bit of a shame and what's for casings isn't it we've got 18 bronze casings and this will go up to 64 and we'll actually we'll take those when they come through i think I wonder how much water I've got in here then. So therefore we should start to be getting some else. We're getting some bronze item casings in here now. So let's have a look. Water. 92 buckets. So that should be increasing slowly over time because I'm not using water at the moment. But what we could do is to think about upgrading this to make that go faster. But I don't see any point to be honest with you because I don't think that the... Um, Cactus is coming in desperately fast. So I think this will probably keep up with the cactus flow as, as we go. As you know, we've got 94 buckets of water. That just went up one by one. The reason I was thinking about that is if I want to speed up, make some more speed upgrades for the, um, for the metal former, we need basically 198 buckets, I think. Or three times, 192 buckets so we basically take a stack of tin ingots we then roll those into plates and then we make those into cans or yeah i think it's cans and then we can fill those with water and then we can basically put them snow around them and blah it takes a while anyway less of that so how we do now with our plates let's have a look so now we've got some uh, we're now starting to get some refined iron plates that's good we need four stacks of those so so that actually is not coming in fast enough so what i'm going to do for this so i've got some speed upgrades here let's take it, let's take those with us even a stack upgrade might be a good idea and also let's take up take with us some um glowstone dust half a stack of that so let's go and have a look at those machines downstairs because they, this could be produced faster. Let's have a look. I think this is the iron, this is the refined iron one, and in here, if I look in here, what's coming in slowly is iron. So we could then speed up the iron. The iron's obviously coming in here. So what we can do is put a piece of glowstone in there, and see where it's travelling, and we could put a stack upgrade in here too, and that'll make it go a lot faster. And I might need to do the same thing in here, or put the glowstone in anyway we'll see how things are getting on here now because it's only one carbon per so that's producing that at a lot faster and I'm jumping up and down because I'm standing on pipes or wires and this one it's probably the same thing here let's have a look what's going on in here what are we short of copper we're always short of copper so let's speed up the copper in here uh, it's underneath doesn't it let's see if I can jump over that come out down here right click that one let's put the stack upgrade in here as well so that should now be running faster and in here we're actually keeping up well I don't know it looks like we're keeping up with the tin so they'll be making bronze at a much higher rate now I think that looks pretty good not not masses and not instantaneous but pretty decent let's put a piece of glowstone in here too and one in have we got one in here yes we have have we got now i'm not using um transfer nodes on this at all and basically i'm just piping it directly from here but i couldn't do it directly in from the chemical decomposer it wouldn't do it so i had to put an item duct between the two and in here well you can see it's actually going down slowly if we do it like that we'll see if we go above 47 here 
I don't think we will do it walking backwards, which is not what I want to do. So I'll take these three stacks of, well, two and a half stacks out of there, and two and a half stacks out of there, and see how we get on with that progress. So these need to go and get plated now. So let's go and roll these. As you can see, it's already finished. We'll do the, we'll do these first. Yes, that's good. Did that actually finish? Oh yes, it has. Now, if I'm going to, let's just see. I'm going to turn this one off. Set it to high, so that's not going to come out. Now, are these coming out? They're not coming out, are they? So what we're going to do now is we're going to take this one off here because this is actually no, this is hardened, isn't it? Okay, so I'm going to make a faster server than hardened. Oops, this one. Not what I wanted to do. Let's put it back again. Right, let's turn it on. So let's go and make a faster servo. And then that'll come out faster because I don't think it's keeping up quite as quickly as I need it to for the, for the rate of the overclockers. So that's amazing, isn't it? So let's have a look. We want a servo. So the next, level, the next level that will be this reinforced servo, which will then start to do maximum stack size of 64 as opposed to this one, which was 16. And it's one second instead of two. So that's basically eight times faster, something like that. So we can, can we actually do this? Not quite. What were we missing? Something small. I think it was just gold. No, just iron nuggets, even easier. So let's take a block of iron. One, well, a block of iron. One ingot will do. Let's just take, con convert that to nuggets. And let's put these two nuggets in here like that. Then we get these two coming out of here. And we can get some more, of course, because I made plenty of electrum last time, in the last episode. Now let's put this one onto here. Remove that with a right click and put that on, turn it on and let's activate that and this gets a lot more options let's see now if this is actually coming in here faster if, well it seems to have gone up a bit but I think we've run out of yes we have run out of refined iron you see it's going a lot more and you've actually got the nearest first option as well which is not the case in the standard one where you get basically just a, a three item blacklist so as you can see, these get a lot more, comp a lot better. So you can ignore or use MTB data or dictionary and mod owner. We should also be able to, and metadata as well, of course, that's the metadata, which in fact is damage in MTB data is enchantments to a large extent. So these are actually much better. So that should then be going through here. And as you can see, it's keeping up nicely with the rate we're getting in. And it looks like those are already been produced. So let's go back now and see if we can make some what we need to do for those four fins. So I need now some iron plates. Refined iron plates. We need one, two, three, four stacks of those, which we've just got as it happens. So we then all we need to do is then craft these across. Like that. And when I say across, I mean craft them into to steel. And we can put these into here. Don't, I can't do control shift click on that, it's a bit irritating, but never mind. And then we can put four of these in. Oh, that's five. Like that. And then we should be able to make a tier two heavy duty plate. Four of them. So that's what we need to do next. And as you can see, those are going through very fast indeed. In fact, we can actually put these two in now. So we're just waiting for some more bronze take those out of there let's do those bronze where are the bronze casings let's have a look yeah we got over there, but yes we got just over two stacks that's fine so that'll give us another two heavy duty plates and as you can see that's going to start working very nicely and go up very fast as well because the speed of that wow so we have our 24 we're actually short of about five. So I'm going to have to wait before the, I can do that before the others get items in it. Right. While I'm here, I'm going to put these two away. 
because I don't need those for the time being, I don't think. And I've got my nose cone in. So we'll see if we can make the fins now. Rocket for fins. Ah, okay, so we need... Right, so that's not too bad. Have we got any more plates? The 55, that's nowhere near enough. Let's go downstairs and see what we've got downstairs. We should have some more iron in here. Oh, look at that. That's fantastic. It's going a lot faster now. Which is great, because we need... It's amazing how much of this stuff we need. It's a huge amount, really. So let's put the iron in first, and that'll get the refined iron. And that'll get taken first, as you can see. And that should start to go down here quite nice. As you can see, it's going down in about four to go. Yep, yeah. 48 next one, yep. Yeah. I wonder if that's coming through here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to replace that server as well. If the worst comes to the worst, we have to make some resident ones. But uh, that basically means uh, Enderium. That's actually already on high. Let's turn it like that. Disabled. So is that making a difference? Yep, it looks like this is actually almost full, which is fantastic. So we should get a lot more plates. Let's go and have a look. See what our plate situation is like. Bit of running around, isn't it, today, I'm afraid. I'm sorry about that. I have to apologise. So let's have a look. Plates. 69 we're about 10 short actually we can do that that'll do is for a time being that'll give us enough for our four fins so if we come over here now put these into here like that we should be able to select fins we get our four fins i had to watch that one out and we can turn that off now we don't want to get any more fins so what have we got in here four fins fantastic i hope that's right <laughs> right and nose cone and four fins seems we've got some things in the bad place here. let's put them with them around a bit So next thing in the rocket, two tier one boosters. So this is where we need 32 of these and the same thing again. So let's hope we've got more iron, iron plates or refined iron plates. 80, 64 should, I think it's 64. Oh no, we need 128, don't we? So I've got to wait for these to come through. We could make one to start with. Well, that's such a lot of stuff. So that one and that one of those. We actually want to put two, don't we? So we need heavy duty plates. And I think we need more busted circuits. Sorry, I shouldn't swear. We need more circuits, which is going to be a pain so let's put the circuits in here like that that should then enable us to pick a booster up good stuff so we've got one of our two boosters what else do we need in here have we got our plates now so look yeah we've got enough plates now to do the next one What I'm going to do is deselect everything just to make sure that I don't build something I don't want to build. Or assemble something I don't want to assemble. So we need a tier 2. And from that we then have our tier 1, our tier 2 and our 32 circuits. Make our second booster. That's two boosters done. Next, let's 
put those in there. Titty rocket. We need one. Oh, yes, we need a load more electrical circuits and this Enderium block. Four heavy duty plates and one ordinary plate. Wow. So that basically means we need five of these plus the 10 here. At, ooh, that's 10 here, That's the, but they're tier two, so that's basically tier one. So 15. So we still need a 15 heavy duty plates tier one. We've got 12. Actually, that's not too bad. So we just need three more of those. So let's have a look what we're doing for plates in here. We're gonna have a we're gonna need a load more steel and a load more bronze. Three. Six. Actually I don't think we need so much bronze now. Because every one of these will definitely give me one, two, three, four. Let's put these into here to get rolled. In fact, let's let those go through. So what are we doing now for refined iron? It's not too bad. But one thing that is going to be a problem is this rubber. Oh, we've got plenty of refined iron now. Let's take this with us. I might even have to stop this soon, but I don't mind. But I'm sure we're going to need more refined iron for other processes anyway. We've got 26 rubber in here. And I'm not making any more rubber at the moment. Because... Butane. We're short of butane. Which is in here. I'll tell you what we can do. We can take the mesaline from here. Because mesaline is basically lots of carbon, hydrogen, nitrogen, and oxygen. Let's take those out of there. 64. As you can see, that's counting up fast. If I put this into this decomposer here, the only problem we're going to get is we're going to get a lot of nitrogen we can't deal with. Actually, nitrogen nitrate. I could blacklist. Let me just take this nitrate out of here. Oops. Blacklist this on here like that. So the nitrate's not going to go out of here. What are we getting in here? Nitrogen, which we don't want in here, and oxygen's okay because that can disappear across. And therefore we stop the nitrate. I wonder if it's being blocked anywhere. Actually, it might not get blocked because we've got filters in these here like that. Yes. And then the hydrogen should come across here. Most unfortunately, let's try again. There's not much hydrogen coming out of that yet. So we've got in here, should be some taking hydrogen out of here quite rapidly. But I don't see any hydrogen coming out. That's hydrogen there. We've got an item filter and we've got this, but we've got no space stack or speed upgrades in there. I've only got f oh yes, it's a bit strange why I'm not getting hydrogen out of here. I'll tell you what we'll do. Let's have a look. Nitrate's been blocked. There's no hydrogen in here at all. I wonder. That's strange. Let's take the hydrogen out of here and put the hydrogen into here. Ah, I think the problem is I put it in the wrong place because that was for wood, wasn't it? Okay. So we can take our mesaline out of here altogether and put the mesaline into here, I think. And the nitrate will stay in here and not go out. That's good. 
and hydrogen's coming in here nicely. Good stuff. Okay, good. So I really need to remove all of this from in here and put it into this into this one if we can get space for it. It's actually full. Okay, that's not a big deal. We can put the hydrogen and carbon into here. Nitrogen we can keep with us. Mycelium we can come back and put into here. What have we got? Oh, that's good. Anyway, it's producing. This will produce more rubber. But I need a lot of rubber. We've got 28. I think we're. I think I need a load of rubber to be honest with you. To make another set of cables is quite a, a set of circuits is quite a lot of work. So let's do that. But I'm going to do most of this off camera because it takes such a long time. But let's see what we've got here. Four plates. I need to get some more iron, uh, refined iron through, don't we? It'd be nice to get the extra 15 plates before the end of this episode. Let's shove those in there like that and these into there. And they should be taking the refined iron, I hope. Yes, it is good. Which is when I force it anyway. So we'll be getting a load more refined iron plates. What do we need in here? We need one, two, three. That will give me. I want to keep that, don't I? That'll give me one. We need some aluminium. Ooh, that's going to be interesting. Might have run out of aluminium. Let's have a look. Plates. Oh no, plenty of aluminium. Five. We need five stacks of that. And we've got another stack of this. Okay, good. We'll put that into there. No, we won't. We'll roll this actually. In fact, we should roll those two. And that will give me four plates. So with a bit of luck, I might be able to get the other one out of here rolled. But we're going to need a load more um, plates anyway. Let's have a look. Plates. 63. Let me take half a stack out of that. Those That should produce enough for five plates. Or heavy duty plates. I'm not going to say anything about doors. I've said that enough. I just have difficulty going through doors. So we want these two in here as well. And then we just basically need another 32 bronze plates to make the casings. And then we're off. And then that's basically made everything that we need. Let's take, <laughs> let's cheat and take them out of here. We will certainly get some more as time goes on, so that's no big deal. So these will now be processed quite quickly. And then it'll do the plates, and then it'll do the bronze. Let's have a look how much have we got. Oops, that was a bit of lag. Okay, good. So the amount of stuff that we've got right bronze we've got now for another two stacks that's good so we'll look for plates again so we're just short of a few here for second set let's shove these into here Let's go and take this over here and make some more rubber. In fact, I've got quite a few cables, but how are we doing? Nothing there at all for rubber. Let's remove these. And put one in the middle, is it? No, it's one on the top left, I think. Yeah. That'll make another 28, which gives us another 28 cables. For one of these, we need three, and we need 60 four of these it's a it's quite a job actually to get these to to work we need a lot more cake we need a lot more rubber so that's another challenge for us that'll give me four okay one stack of bronze plates and three stacks of that should 
be around about enough. Let's look again, plates. All right, we've got one more stack of this, and then we'll bronze yet. So we're just waiting for what? I think we're just waiting for the bronze casings now. Actually, we're waiting for casings for everything. Okay. Well. You see where I'm going with this, don't you? So we're very close to having our rocket built. So I'm going to say, see you next time. Um, bye for now.